Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> Don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Today, I've noticed something on my fire stick, and when it comes to privacy... I don't know if it's a bit intrusive from Amazon or if it's something we should be turning off, but we're going to take a look at it now. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I went to put my son's Fire TV cube on and then I just got this message. It just popped up. It, I didn't press anything and it just, it was a cooking notice from Amazon. You know, it does say, and it obviously gives you the option to accept or decline. But if I click on back, you're now going to see there is a cookie consent option that wasn't previously there. And one thing I will ask is check on your Amazon streaming device, whether it's a Fire Stick or a Fire TV Cube, and let me know if you have got that cookie consent option in the comment section down below. So I'm going to show you quickly where you can find it. Like I said, a lot of people tend to turn these kind of options off because they find it to be better for your privacy and they don't want Amazon, well, kind of monitoring what you're doing. So if you do prefer to turn them off, that's what I'm going to show you now. So if we go across to the settings icon on the right-hand side, we go down... I'm going to click on where it says preferences. Now, on preferences, you do get a few different options, and we will go through a couple more options after this as well. But the one underneath, it says privacy settings, and that's what we want to click on first. And this is where we see it says cookie consent. Now, if you don't see this, it's possible that your Fire Stick's not actually up to date yet, and it will do the update automatically at some point, unless you've turned it off. And if I go into My Fire TV, you click on where it says About, and then you can see it says Check for Updates or Install Update. But yeah, like we said, we get the cookie consent there. And if I click on it, it gives me this message again. So we use cookies, device identifiers, and similar tools to provide and improve your experience on Fire TV. They're basically saying it's improving our experience because they can deliver more relevant ads to us, whereas most of us, we'd rather see no ads at all. Wouldn't we? <laughs> and then it says, if you accept, we will also use cookies to enhance your advertising experience on this Fire TV device. This includes showing you more relevant ads and reducing ad repetition. It also allows third parties to display and measure personalised ads, generate audience insights and develop and improve products. If you decline, the ads you see may be more repetitive and less relevant to you. This setting will not affect the use of cookies by third party apps or the other Amazon services on Fire TV such as Prime Video. Then it says you can withdraw your consent anytime by going into this setting so if i click on decline now you can see that is turned off you've got device usage data which uses personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing and product improvement purposes a lot of people like to turn that off as well collect app usage data so any apps that you use to collect information on the frequency and duration of use of downloaded apps Ta-da. And then interest-based ads, which I thought was similar to this cookie setting as well. And it allows apps on this device to use your advertising ID to show interest-based adverts that display products and services that might interest you. Once again, a lot of people like to just turn that off. Now, there are a couple more settings you can take a look at as well. I'm not saying you should actually turn these off. It's just so you know that they're there and you've got that option to turn them off if you'd like. Now, if you do find that changing any of these options stop any apps from working, do take note of what you've changed so you can go back and change it back so the app you're having problems with actually works. So from privacy settings, if I click back, if we go down one, you've got something called data usage monitoring. If I click on this, now you're going to see data usage monitoring, monitor data consumption, on your Amazon Fire TV stick 4K Max. Now, there is a difference in opinion when it comes to this one. A lot of people do still choose to turn this off, but I think this one is only used to monitor how much internet you've used on your Fire Stick, and then it can cut it off. So say you only get 5 gigabyte of internet per month, and you want to make sure your Fire Stick doesn't go over that, you can set data alerts... So then it can tell you once it's used, such as like three gigabyte. But like I said, a lot of people don't like that it says data usage monitoring, so they do actually choose to turn that off. Now, there's another option here. Now, this option is not down to your privacy, really. It's more down to how your Fire Stick can perform. And it's called Featured Content. If I click on Featured Content, you can see it says Allow Video Autoplay and Allow Audio Autoplay. Now, if I click on the Home button, up at the top here, you can see we get an advert. 
I'm pregnant. And all of a sudden, Ooh, was- starts playing an actual ad. And they can be quite loud as well. And that setting we've just been in is how you turn those off. So once again, if we go across to settings, down to preferences, and then we're going to featured content once again, turn both of those off, click on the home button. As you can see, this time you're not going to get no loud adverts or anything playing. It's just going to show you images and scroll across. Now, another one, if we go across to settings and we go down to where it says My Fire TV, you can click on where it says About. And then if we scroll down to the bottom, like we showed you quickly earlier, this is where you can check for updates. Now, some people do choose to block updates because if you use a custom launch or anything like that, you will already know that you don't want to update your Fire Stick. Me, personally, I always keep it up to date, and that's how you do it. Another option you've got as well that some people might not be aware of is, inside My Fire TV, you've got a few different options. And you can see you've got a sleep option there. Also, when you long hold the home button, you also get a sleep option there as well. But, if you go into developer options, if you don't see this on your device, I'll leave a video in the top corner now where you can get it. Click on where it says developer options. And then you've got an option for deep sleep. Now, this will put your Amazon Fire Stick into deep sleep. Networked connectivity will be disabled. To wake your TV, press select on the remote. But it's just an option that seems a bit hidden and a lot of people won't know it's there. And then, just about done now. These videos are awful, I know, but I just like talking to you a lot about them. If we go into applications, we've got App Store. A thing here is, you've got external market links. I always leave that as ask before opening. But in-app purchases, this is something I need to use because I've turned it off now. But if I click on home, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see it. If I go into Prime Video and look at my stuff, you're going to see that I bought Peppa Pig. Now, obviously, I didn't buy Peppa Pig. I can watch it. It's sound. But I didn't buy it. And that's because my kids got a hold of the remote. I was out golfing. I got a notification saying I'd bought Peppa Pig. And I was like, how? So that's how you turn that off. Simply go to settings, applications, app store, and then you can turn in-app purchases off. This is where you also manage your subscriptions. You can turn notifications off as well. But I tend to just leave that on. At the top, we've got automatic updates. Now, this isn't for your Fire Stick itself. It's for any apps downloaded from the Amazon App Store, as we can see there. So turning this off will not stop the Fire Stick itself updating, it'll just stop apps that's downloaded from the App Store updating automatically. Got there in the end, didn't I? <laughs> if I go back, you've got Manage Installed Applications. It tells you how much internal storage you've got left. One thing to check is make sure to delete any apps that you don't use. If you go down to Sort, you can do it by recency. And any apps that you don't use, for some reason it lists it upside down in my opinion, so never used at the top and if you notice any that are installed that you don't use personally just get them deleted and free up some space on your device right so that's it for this one like i said i was just walking past the son's um, bedroom putting the tv on cube came up bang notification using your cookie consent all that sort of shit and i just thought well this is new and i think it is new as well i think it's just been added in this update so i thought i'd let you know about it and then just show you a few more settings on top of it. Like I said, you don't need to change anything. It all works perfectly fine. It's just so you know where those settings are and what they are. And if privacy is something that you're keen on, then a VPN can come in useful as well. And it also helps with unlocking content and all that sort of stuff too. And I will leave a link in the description down below to a recommended VPN. It is an affiliated link, so it does help support the channel, but it also gives you the best deals. Right, so don't forget, let me know in the comment section down below, do you get the cookie consent option in there? And yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da!